This is Jeff's request aboard the Sovereign 27. Currently in the forward cabin, which uh, as you can see by me stepping back here is a offset double. Very comfortable and spacious. Underneath is storage and also the battery for the bow thruster. Swinging round to starboard side we have cupboard with storage on top and a wardrobe with storage on top. Headlining, very clean, very bright with the uh, four windows made available. Flooring is all fitted carpet professionally and the headlinings really good condition. This whole area can be pulled, panelled off with a door which you push to lock and pull to open and then it's kept in place by a turn screw. That is a dehumidifier which the boat has been using all this winter. Swinging round to the port side we have a four four burner gas gas burners four gas burners um, hob under which is a grill very clean under there is the Maxwell oven which uh, is very very clean hardly used. Again, storage under and a isotherm fridge, which is new, latter part of last year, and hardly used, very clean, spacious again, and only draws two and a half amps. A very deep freezing section, which I can assure everybody that does work very well indeed. On top of which, we have the sink. Mixer tap, all the usual bits to pieces, and glass storage or whatever you need them for under the side decking. So that covers the galley area. We swing round now and we have the Port side, saloon table, again carpet all professionally fitted, storage under the table with a heating vent, again upholstery in really good condition. The table of course drops down to enable a double bed. This area here is pulled out so that it's level with that area there and then you have a full comfortable good sized double bed. The cushions will form the bed. Up to the uh, port side again we have the TV which is included torch, storage, a DVD TV this is, so digital and plenty of storage under for crockery, dishes, plates, whatever. Drawers under again, so there's a plethora of storage on this boat. On the starboard side we now have the heads which consists of a sea toilet, goes to holding tank, cabinet, headlinings again all very clean and tidy, a shower connection there as down into the basin area is the shower head. Floor is in the shower well and of course 
that is pumped out by a pump alongside the cabinet. Again, heated. Then we come to the business end, which is up in the cockpit. This is the starboard side. Currently there is a screen cover. Keep the weather out, cleaner. A very sociable cockpit with lots of space. The floors are panelled so you can get various bits and pieces. There's like lazarette storage, that sort of thing down there. Also under which there is the, you see the photographs of the calorifier and holding tank. Aft seating, again very good condition. Canopy, which was new only two, two and a half years ago. And again, headlinings, good condition, very good condition. The seat, seats three. The electric panel and fuses are under there. Solar panel control, master battery and bilge pump. Above the helm area, uh, a hatch was fitted last year which gives a nice bit of breeze on a hot day. Finally on to the helm area, which is very functional. All the instruments are working. Engine hours are 1216 I believe, which is uh, very low. All working very well. This particular area here is a new fitted last year. Window wipers which are self-returning, bow thruster control, throttle, and then on top a GPS map Garmin 451 and an ICOM radio which is DFC. If you're interested in seeing any more of this boat, then please go to www www.boatshednorfolk.com and thanks for watching.